So how small can you go in tooling? Um, the smallest ejector pin I, I've been involved with is four thousandths of an inch, or just about a hair-sized piece of steel. But you'd be surprised how really robust that hair-sized piece of steel is. You can still make these molds last for full depreciation value, which is usually five to seven years for that capital investment. Um, the core pins as small as uh, two and nine tenths. The smallest gate is two thousandths of an inch. And you can imagine um, the material actually entering into the gate uh, of two thousandths or three thousandths or five or nine thousandths. It's a very different acting polymer going through that uh, sheared area than it is going through a 20 or a 30,000 gate, which is a conventional size gate. So uh, some of the rules that we, we know about uh, um, mold flow and the, and the polymer going into those molds of 20 or 30,000 gates are very different going through a 2 or 3 or 5,000 gate. You now have a lot of shear and because you have shear you can flow very long and thin areas that you might not think are possible. So um, that's an advantage. The disadvantage is you still have to now take special care, especially in implantable applications, to make sure you didn't do damage to that material going through that two, three, five, or nine thousand scape. Um, the smallest wall thickness uh, was one and a half thousand. It wasn't very long. It was about uh, twenty-five thousandths in length, uh, which is still a very long length for a one and a half thousandths wall. And the slots and channels here, uh, these microfluidic slots are a half micron wide, 50 microns long. And microfluidics is, again, controlling the smallest droplet possible. And some of those applications are lab on a chip type applications or microscope slides um, that actually push through capillary action, push blood to analyze it um, with an electronics device. Um, I've taken a little bit of a decision matrix here on what you're looking at for a minimum structure size, and this is again the tool itself to actually make the plastic part. Um, but this is kind of typical, um, but there are occasions where you can make smaller features than what you see here. High speed mill, for example, minimum structure size about 20 microns. Sinker EDM 5 to 10, wire EDM 15 to 20. Surface finish, uh, I'm going to talk about that in a little bit, but it's extremely important with very small pots. Um, the smallest hopper dryer I was involved with is literally a test tube size uh, for uh, the resorbable materials because it wasn't, it wasn't a lot of material that's being used, but uh, now taking that test tube to a material drying company and saying, how do you do this? Um, and they just hope. We know how to do 500 pound, 100 pound, even 50 pound hoppers. So th those things all needed to be developed over the last 10 years. And so there are some on the market now that uh, take into consideration a very small amount of material. 